and welcome! We are sitting to a game from a well-known visual novel developer by now. Well, at least I believe so. Uh, I would say it's a known visual novel developer by now. Ebihime! And the game we are playing today is Lucky Me, Lucky You! Of course, uh, linked in the description is on each that you. Let's check it out! One of the many man behemoth games I want to play. Her eyes are rolled back into her head. And she's moaning, gasping. Her hair is a mess. She's a mess. She's coming apart at the seams. And her breast bounces with each thrust and she gasps. That's what she says, but I'm not buying it. Who can be into sex really really into it? Why not? <laughs> when they're wearing a retarded pair of cut ears on their head and there's a camera pointed right in their face. Okay. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I don't think I could, and I'm pretty good actress. Totally. Or is something like that for I can get into it when I shut my brain down, but when I'm feeling sad and low and grumpy and pissed off with the world and everything in it, I just get annoyed. Sure, you're seeing this totally adorable girl getting nailed, and that's great, who doesn't like adorable girls getting nailed? But what they don't show is the director overseeing it from the sidelines or the people with cameras. Huh. Huh. Unless it's amateur video, right? <laughs> that, would kill, that would kill the fantasy. The actress looks cute, but I can't tell if she really is. Her face is caked with makeup, and everything about her looks fake. Her eyelashes, her lips, even the blush that heats up her cheeks. It's all an act. No shit, that's why they call it acting. There's no in hell she'd ever win an Academy Award for this. Rousing performance, but she's still an actress, and none of it is really real. She says, oh, fuck me harder, but she's probably thinking something more like, I don't get paid enough for this, and we schedules are fucking annoying, and shit, I'm so bored of this, can I go home already? I know that's what I'd think if I was in her shoes. Don't you think that every single day while I'm at work for? <laughs> not that she's wearing any shoes. But that's why I'm not an actress in... Uh, and you know, what industry. I get distracted way too easy. It might be kinda hard to juggle with college too. And my parents would like freak the freak out if they learned their dearest darling daughter had fallen so incredibly low. They get on my case enough as this, with the hair dye and the false eyelashes. Why would you do the fal false eyelashes? Don't do it. That stuff doesn't look good. You should listen to me in this case, really. False eyelashes are not attractive. Anyway. If I ended up like Natsume Riemann, whoever it is, that's what it says on the DVD cover, but I'm a DVD cover, wow. What is, what year is this? But I'm 100% sure that's an alias, because who the freak calls their kid Ramon? Wouldn't that like be practically pushing her into a car as a, an adult star? My dad would have a heart attack. On the other hand, I'm saying what year is it for DVDs, but uh, I do have some anime on DVDs and some movies. Ah, it feels so good, it's so good! That's where everyone is doing her best to convince me that it really does feel good and I want to upload her efforts. Seriously, but it's way, way, way too unbelievable. I mean, the cut ears, freaking cut ears. What gives? Hmm. 
your flatmate is such a weirdo, yo. I say, dropping the DVD case of Cat Girl Paradise on the floor dispassionately. Why do I feel like there was a game like this? Like title this. I know for sure there is a game on Steam called Something Paradise. And I wonder what it might be. I mean, there is just Paradise, which I actually have in, uh, ig on Ignore. Finding Paradise. Oh, okay. Paradise Last. That's what I was probably thinking. It's a good indie game for. Uh, we might play it sometime when the full thing is out. Because, well, let's say I did play a little bit of uh, not full version. Speaking of which, isn't that false advertising? You'd think if there is a paradise, there'd be more than one cat girl. Eh. It's not like I'm into cat girls or anything, but if you're claiming you've got a paradise, I'm gonna expect a paradise. Wait, this is an inner monologue, right? I'm j Fuck. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so we don't see exactly who's saying the lines. This will be tough with changing voices. There. I'm just as surprised as you by this you as you are, says Rio. He looks like such a regular guy. I snort. <laughs> and then you find out he's into weird shit like this. I wonder what I'd find if I search this computer, says Rio thoughtfully. Please don't. <laughs> Ew. I wrinkled my nose. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. How charming. I'm not the one who's into cat people. Freaking cat people. Made cat people. Maybe if I say it three times, I'll understand the appeal. I mean... Cat girls are alright. They are not the best for. Let's face it. That's a fact. Honestly, for cat girls, kind of overrated. There are better options out there. I'm not saying they are bad. Just a bit overrated. Nope. I still don't have a clue. <sighs> the maid part is kind of weird. Why would you want the cat girls maid? Yeah. What if she scratched the customers or gave them fleas? Asks Rio. Is he... That's a he. I did not realize. Is he seriously trying to think about this logically? Why? I guess that's scientists for you. Maybe... Maybe Naoki's into that too. I say. <sighs> After today, nothing would surprise me, says Ryo dryly. But he was scared. Ah, that's Ryo's flatmate, by the way. No, okay. don't ask me what his family name is, because I can't remember it. I can't even remember my own mother's birthday. Wow. Let alone... Okay, I should not actually comment on that. I have it easy. It's the last day of the year. <laughs> I really have it easy. I can't even remember my own mother's birthday. Let alone the life story of some plain guy like Naoki. He's not Rio's only flatmate. Six guys live in this apartment. And they all share the same kitchen and bathroom. Ah. Ouch. I come here all the time, but I don't really talk to any of them. Why should I? I'm always with Rio, and Rio's flatmates have their own friends, their own lives. They're used to me, and they greet me whenever they see me. Naoki, Takahiro, Koji, Kaede, and some other guy whose name I don't remember, but we don't talk. Not really. I'd never watch adult movies with any of them, even if this DVD does technically belong to Naoki. Ryo and I kinda saw... kinda sort of stole it, but is that really our own fault? 
Naoki Wen. <sighs> who keeps adult movies on DVDs? Honestly, who? Naoki went back home over Golden Week. At least that's what Ryo told me, and he forgot to lock his bedroom door. You wouldn't think that he would forget since he wears glasses and he's like this total neat freak, but. And yet he has adult videos on DVDs. <laughs> But I guess even guys like that slip up sometimes. You'd have to be pretty stupid to leave your door unlocked when you live with 500 guys for. Who the hell trusts guys? Uh, I don't trust guys, that's why I don't hide date them. Not the girls are much better. Meh. I mean, I would prefer, I definitely prefer girls. I would, I definitely do. Like. But I'm like you, I would never date, date, date a guy. Yeah. Anyway, Mario and I got curious, so we poked around inside Naoki's room and we discovered some really weird shit we so did not expect. Figures displayed on his desk and on his bookshelf among his chemistry books. Anime girls with huge eyes and huger... Rocks. Wearing skimpy clothes that get them arrested if they dare to go out in public like that. Hmm. All in all, it was definitely an experience. Hmm. Okay. Aside from chemistry books and adult movies on DVDs, what are you doing in my my my, my apartment? What the heck? <laughs> and that was before we found. The movies. I know it's not polite to steal things, but you're really asking for it, leaving your room unlocked like that. And even then, I would have left his movies alone. I really, truly would have, if his taste weren't so niche. It was all cosplay stuff. I wonder if that is niche. Maybe. Girls in made outfits, cat ears, cat ears with made outfits, popular anime characters, Harufi something or other, <laughs> something or other, and the girls from that one mobile red game. Which one? <laughs> there is so many. And that mascot girl with the pink hair. Mascot girl. Mascot girl with a pink hair. Honestly, the only idea that comes to mind would be Sonico. And for reading my game, I don't know, Love Life, Idol Master, that's all that comes to my mind, at least. I don't know more bio games. So, that was interesting. It's especially interesting coming from a guy like Naoki, who's pretty quiet, but not antisocial. Uh oh. The sort who'll talk to you and make a few jokes and he'll be funny, but not the center of attention, please look at me guys funny. Look, lo like low-key funny. Uh oh. Yo, I'm this guy. <laughs> Just an average guy, I guess. Nice. Normal. And then turns out he's actually a huge nerd with a hard on for cartoon characters. <sighs> if that's not messed up, I don't know what is. I feel like kind of me kind of people may, that might be watching this might of have feel attacked right now. <sighs> Are you not into this, Nanami? Asks Ryo. He looks amused. I pull a face. Of course not. I'm not a creep. Uh, but you like cute girls, don't you? Yeah, I like cute girls, but this is just embarrassing. Oh, I don't know. Ryo tips his head to one side. Didn't you ever ask Risa to dress up for you, huh? I tense. If it isn't funny, Ryo. Risa is a sore subject. It's only been a wink. A wink? A wink? Really? A wink? It's only been a week since we split up and it still hurts. She was special to me. She must have been or I wouldn't feel so shitty even after eating my way through this carton of bug cheesecake ice cream. Or maybe that's why I feel so shitty. That's probably it, I mean. I was joking when I said I felt sick. Uh, sorry, Nanami. Says Riel, searching the side of his neck. I was just kidding around. I know. Just don't kid around about Risa. It's not very funny. 
duly noted. Ryo turns to examine his fingernails and I turn back to the adult movies, but I can't get into it. Understandable, not that I was ever into it in the first place. That's when Ramon moans and the ice cream left over inside the tube continues to melt, damp and sticky. <laughs> my hands feel sticky too and cold. I want to wipe them on the side of my skirt, but my skirt is this really cute pastel pink and I wouldn't want to get it dirty. Absolutely understandable. I'll just have to sit here with sticky fingers then. <laughs> sticky fingers! I know Ryo's trying to cheer me up, but it's not working. It feels like somebody's taken the spoon I was using to eat my ice cream and rammed it into my chest, below the ribs. Ow. I like Teresa. I really, really like Teresa. And I never even realized how much I liked her until she dumped me. Oh, it's so good, it feels so good! Says so Ratsume Ramon, but she's wrong because it doesn't feel good at all. It feels awful, and I wish you knew how to read the atmosphere, but that's uh, adult movies, actresses for you. You can't expect too much sensitivity from them. Or maybe you can, but not that kind. Not the kind I need! Understandable? It's not you, it's me! That's what Risa told me. She said it so seriously her hands held together, like it would somehow explain something. Yeah, to be fair, that text does not expl explain anything. Like it would make things better. It didn't. It's not you, it's me! What the freaking cliché! What does that even mean anyway? You could ask the best scientists in the country and I bet they wouldn't know. Sure, those guys in glasses and lab coats. Not that I believe all scientists wear glasses and lab coats. Just go along with me for a sec. I mean, about girls in lab coats. Mm, nice. Might be able to determine the exact point when the world is gonna end. After the sun will explode and the skin will melt off our faces and will turn to intergalactic ashes. But could they ever understand the mysteries of a girl's heart? Yeah, the girl's, the girl's heart are mysterious. Definitely. I'm a girl and I don't even understand girls. Said the main character of this game, by the way. Or more like thought. That's why I'm not changing the voice. Maybe that's why I like them. There is something appealing about stuff you don't understand. Girls are mysterious, kinda. Like cows. What? They don't say what's on their minds. Okay, if you are comparing it to animals, then none of them actually say what's on their minds. But let's continue with it. Kind of weird comparison. They try to sugarcoat everything when they talk to their face, but they don't hold back in private. Hmm. Girls can be freaking brutal. I think both sides can be. They just act like they're not because that's how they're expected to act. I can be just as bad. You'd think a group of girls studying and nursing would be a bit nicer, but they're not. I like some of my classmates and we can have fun together. Hmm. But I don't trust any of them. I bet they all bitch about me when I'm not around. I do the same thing to them. Oh boy. I feel like nursing would be super competitive thing to study as well. Wouldn't it be? But Risa wasn't like the other girls. She wasn't like me. Risa was soft, delicate, gentle. The kind of girl you'd think would make a good nurse just to look at her. She had dark hair, tied up in sensible braids and a sweet little smile. Kind of dorky, actually. She listened to slow music, ballads and wore these soft pastel cardigans she always picked at. So the sleeves were forever frayed. She said, It's not you, it's me. And I know there must be a deeper reason, something she wasn't telling me but she didn't tell me because she didn't want to hurt me. She was trying to spare my feelings. How freaking nice is that? It almost makes your heart bleed. Then I remember that she broke up with me before Golden Week and I don't feel like calling Risa nice. 
that much anymore. We're meant to be doing, uh, doing, going on holiday. We had it all planned. Well, I had it planned, and Lisa just nodded and smiled and peeked at the sleeves of her cardigan, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was cute. We're gonna go on a holiday for a few days, to meet her parents down in Ibaraki. I was excited about it. Even thought that doesn't sound very cool, but I can explain. Honest, just hear me out. I've had a few girlfriends before, but I've never ever met their parents. Dude, I'm the same. Not a real official girlfriend. Dude, I'm the same. And also the other way, same. Never. Just as I've never met the parents of any uh, of the girls I dated, past, 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 long past, uh, I've never introduced them to my parents as well. Yeah, none of, no, no, nope, no, none of them I would like to do that with, nope. None of those in the past. I had one girlfriend back home, Miki, when I was in my last year of high school. She was older than me and worked part-time at a local cafe, which is where we met. I went to her house a handful of times, but it was always as a friend. List, that's what she told her parents. I was a good friend, a best friend even, but what kind of friends, even best friends, lie in bed together, making out, with the sheets all rumpled up. <laughs> Maybe some people do that with their friends, and I'm not gonna judge, but seriously... What the freak? So maybe I'm judging a little, yeah, just a bit. But Teresa wasn't like that. She was shy and a little mousy, and I figured she must have come from this super conservative family, so I was shocked when she let me kiss her at the Judy's house party. And even more shocked when she phoned her parents to let them know she had a girlfriend. Not just a girl who was a friend. A girlfriend. It made me happy. Really, really happy. Disgustingly happy. Sovereign Joy Trio told me I was being insufferable and he threw his copy of Physical Chemistry for Biochemists at my head. And finally put my right eye out. I was bugging about it when he was trying to write an essay, but that's a little out of line, don't you think? He didn't even apologize, the jerk. Just got this kinda, but only kinda, git look in his face. Then avoided me for two weeks. But I was so happy I couldn't bring myself to care. I thought it was going so well. I thought I'd finally found somebody who accepted me. Who wasn't ashamed? I guess I was a little too excited for... And maybe I started coming on too strong. Cause Risa backed off. Telling her parents over the phone that she had a girlfriend was one thing. But telling them to their faces with her super adorable girlfriend by her side? Might of have been too much. Is that why she always got so quiet whenever I start talking about our... More like my... Plans for Golden Week? Was she afraid? Or was she starting to have second thoughts? I wonder. But I guess I'll never know. It's not you! It's me! Doesn't give me very much to go on. Yeah, it does... It does not explain anything. That's true. I swear, you've seen one adult movie, you've seen them all. Pretty much. Uh, I must admit I'm kinda disappointed, says Rio. Cosplay movies isn't that much different to regular movies. Yeah, it's tamer than I thought. Minus the cut ears, I still can't get over those. Do I really live in a society where all men aged 16 plus want to... <clears throat> messed up their cuts? No. Isn't that like, you know, messed up? Yeah. Well, I liked Beauty and the Beast a lot when I was a kid. What? So maybe I have no right to judge. Yeah. 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 There weren't any cut girls in that fall. Mm. Not from what I remember. Yeah, there was something bigger. <laughs> I was hoping for something funnier, says Rio Sang. Blackmail material? Nah, why they wanna blackmail Naoki? He seems smart, you could get him to write your assignments for you. 
I could, but it would be like Aris, my dear Nanami. I don't think that would count as plagiarism, but well, I don't know. Like you give a shit. I give the minimal amount of shits required. I don't want to de get excluded. Uh, why do you dress up like that then? Hmm. I'm not an idiot, Cesario, with a withering stare. I don't dress like this around other people. Not usually the guys on my curse. Which never let me hear the end of it. So you mean what I noticed before? Got it. So you are into dressing into girls' clothes. Interesting. That's definitely not something I am into. But, well, uh, listen, different people have different interests. I'm not judging. <sighs> maybe they'd roll up in a futon and throw you... Oh, maybe they would roll you up in a futon and throw you in the river. They really might. I don't trust them. But you trust me? Real size and glance up at the ceiling. Against my better judgment, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bye! Anytime, darling. Ryo might be a guy, but he doesn't look like one at all. Yeah, I mean... He looks uh, girly, basically, yes. He's super skinny. Looks like that. With long eyelashes, definitely. And long hair. Oh, I mean... Well, definitely neck length. I don't know if it goes further. And the skirts don't really help. <laughs> Sometimes he dresses up as a girl, but he says there is no deep meaning to it. He doesn't dress like this because he wants to be a girl, or because he thinks he was born in the wrong body or anything like that. Nice. He just does it for fun, kind of like dyeing your hair, painting your nails, or whatever. I wonder... Like, right above the white shirt, right? What are those bluish things? I wonder if it's supposed to be piercing. Ah. That's just how he is. At least that's how I understand it. But I don't think other people would accept that. Not so casually. Eh, it's fine. People don't like it if you do things just because there is always there always has to be some deep meaning, some political statement, something messed up in your head, and maybe there is ever so slightly. But sometimes it's so slight you might not even realize it yourself. So like, does it even matter? Yeah. I don't know why I act the way I do. I guess I was just born this way. Real the same. I mean, come on. Yeah, I. It's fine. Hey, Ryo. What? Does this mean I'm special? It means I don't care what girls like you think. <laughs> I pout. Jerk. But you knew that already. My pout deepens. Hmm. <laughs> what does that even mean, a girl like me? You know, trashy girls. Girls who go out to clubs and get wasted and have to rely on their infinitely more intelligent best friends to walk them back home so they don't get stopped or, you know, some other stuff happen to them or both in the, some dark alley. Hey, that's mean! You asked for it. That's what guys always say when the girls get in trouble. You asked for it. But really, all those sorts of scares. It's longer than yours! <laughs> She should come back with that at him. Ryo to shaking cat. What is their world coming to? How deplorable. Like you don't want to talk, you are scared too. Not as much as you do. I'm a girl, you jackass. So, you thought I was a girl when you first met me. You tried to hit on me, remember? I moan, and it's not like the actresses in the movie. This isn't a moan of fake pleasure, but of very real humiliation. Please stop, it hurts. 
Leave me and my skirts alone, then I'll do the same for you. Hey! I peek at him between my fingers, splay it apart across my face and glare. You started it! Rio sticks out his tongue and I let my hands fall from my face and stick out mine. And we both scowl at one another for a while until one of us caves in and then we both start giggling. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah, man, who are we to judge poor Naoki? I say to my giggles, wiping my eyes with the back of my wrist. I'm so glad my mascara is waterproof. Wait, ma mascara can be waterproof? Serious? I, hmm, interesting. We're both just as freaked up as he is. But aren't we all? Maybe even more so, says Rio sagely. Maybe like a lot more. I'd drink to that. There is nothing to drink, not as you wanna finish this off. I stick holding up the mostly empty carton of ice cream. The ice cream slush slops about in the bottom, wet and sticky but not in a nice way, ugh. Gross. I think I'll pass. A sensible decision. Besides, I bought it for you, says Rio. Isn't baked cheesecake your favorite? Well... I pause, caught off guard. Hmm. That was definitely interesting direction with the camera angle from the very beginning here. You know, he's kind of a bitch, and he's pretty blunt. He doesn't mince his words, and he always tells you what he's thinking, even if it's something you'd rather not hear. Actually, that's a good approach. He can hold grudges with the best of them, and he's pretty freaking anal about the smallest of things. Woo, be tight, and one who borrows so much 5 yen coin from him, just to scrape together enough change to buy a can of coffee from a vending machine, but at the end of the day, he's still a nice guy. He cares. He's the only one of my friends who made an effort to cheer me up after Risa dumped me, even if he did throw a copy of physical chemistry of for biochemists a couple of weeks ago. Huh. Thanks, Ryo. No problem. He says slightly like it's really is no problem, and I guess in the grand scheme of things it isn't. A single tube of Hagen Das I have no clue if that's an actual brand. Isn't going to break the bank, but it was nice of him. All the same, he didn't have to. I don't like seeing you sad. It doesn't suit you. I don't think so it suits me either, I say. I don't like being like this. I like going out and having fun and not thinking about shit too much. Cause who has time for that? Indeed, indeed. Uh, but I just do know, after Risa broke up with me. Who needs Risa? Freak her! I can't anymore. That's a kind of a problem, you know? Besides, I like her. I really like her. Sure, you might love her, but there's no use dwelling on the past now. You can deal. You have me, and you have ice cream, and you have movies. What more could you want? Ah oh, yes, the holy trinity. I feel so much better. Good. I'm being sarcastic and Rion knows I'm being sarcastic, but he doesn't raise to the bait. He just nods his head, smiling to himself in this smug, self-satisfied way that kinda makes him wanna punch his teeth in, but kinda doesn't cause his make me feel better no matter what I say. Maybe he's right, maybe they don't need Risa. Freak her. I look back at Rio's tiny TV, and the movie that still hasn't ended, he just keeps going and going and going. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Who can do that for that long and not need to, like, I don't know, not to pee? Or get something to eat or whatever? Uh, yeah, I don't think that would be very romantic, Nanami. Dude, it's an adult movie, it's not romantic. <laughs> I don't think romance factors into it. True. Hmm. There is nothing particularly romantic about a girl dressed up as a retarded anime character. <laughs> That's probably <her. laughs> Being nailed from behind and riffing like a bug being drowned in soy sauce. <laughs> hey, wait a sec! I blink, tipping my head to one side. Like a true academic when the When did this get get here? She wasn't there before, was she? Hmm. Rio blinks too. I guess someone else must have joined in while we're talking. She's pretty hot, I approve. 
Is she your type? She's totally my type. Look at those curves on her hair. The ponytail is especially adorable. She gets pretty deep. <clears throat> Big chest department too. Must be a pain. On her back? Definitely. Ah, she's so adorable. She's sexy and adorable. It's just not fair. Why don't I have a cute girlfriend with big assets? You can do anything if you believe in yourself, says Rio, voice deadpan. Don't spot cliches at me like that. I'll vomit back cheesecake ice cream all over your carpet. Don't do that. The landlady will get pissed. Then stop being a sap. Let me enjoy my imaginary girlfriend in peace. And Rio does for about a minute or so. The sound of my imaginary girlfriend's moans fill the room, and the walls seem to shrink, and everything gets hot and stuffy, and it's hard to breathe. And then I'm glad that Rio distracts me because I really need to be distracted. Your imaginary girlfriend is kind of a slut, huh? <gasps> Excuse me, is that a way to talk about my girlfriend? I'm just saying it how I say it, says Rio. Hmm, it's kind of weird for... I throw on wrinkling my nose and look at my imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> she's moaning, or maybe it's more like whimpering, and she doesn't really look like she's enjoying herself. She's not smiling, maybe that's why I like her. She seems more honest than Natsume Remon, exposed and vulnerable, like a fruit that's been split open. Or maybe we're actually a huge sadist, who knows. It's probably best not to question it too much. She looks kind of familiar, I say. Familiar? Ask Zero, trying to look at me. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I've seen her somewhere before. And no, and I don't mean... I, I don't mean in my dreams. <laughs> Rio clicks his tongue against the roof of his mouth. That would be my first guess. You're not helpful at all. It's probably your imagination, Naomi. Maybe, but... But it seems like something more than that. It's hard to tell since her cheeks are red and her lashes are fluttering. And her lips are parted and she's moaning, but I'm sure I know this face. It's familiar. Almost as for she could be an old friend. But none of my friends were this hot. Not even Risa was this hot. It doesn't make sense, she looks pretty young, but that's just the makeup, and the soft lighting must be doing its fair share of hard work too. I can almost see the year shade of her real age, dancing in there like dust. She's dressed up like some anime character, but most of her costume is thrown across the floor, and all she's wearing is a pair of knee-high socks, nice, black, and the top half of her sailor uniform, oh, okay, that's pulled up over her breasts. She's an actress, like acting as a character who must be... 16, 17, 18 and a push and only for the sake of sketchy legality, but the woman herself must be older, obviously. She's definitely older than me. It's hard to tell, but if I had to hazard a guess, I'd put her from her mid-twenties to early thirties. She can be a long lost childhood friend, she's too old for that, I don't think she's anyone I know at college either, I recognize her face but it's in a long distant manner, like looking back at a photo of herself as a kid from the 10 years ago and thinking, wow! Did I really wear my hair in these dorky pigtails? That's so freaking tragic! She's somebody I know, I'm sure of it, but not no no, like I know Rio. I know Rio likes painting his two nails and he hates walking upstairs cause he gets tired out after the fifth step, wow. And he really likes Molly's miser, even though he says he doesn't, but I don't know any such things about this girl. Woman, rather. I know anything about her at all, other than the fact that she whimpers when she gets nailed and her fights are smooth and white and uh and her chest department probably dd it's not a lot to go on huh i've never watched a poor i've never watched an adult movie while trying to figure out who the actors and actresses within the scene actually are because that's not the point you're not meant to watch that about uh you know hideki being with atsuko or whatever you wanna call them and wonder I wonder where Ratsuko went to high school and what her favorite subject was and what her parents think about her. Yeah, probably not very proud about the career choice. <laughs> if you want, that would be stupid. If you want a backstory, go read the book. But I'm curious. I want to know. Who is she? Ah, 
please, I'm going to. And as she moves, I find myself moaning too, but it's not of the excitement, at least not that kind of excitement. The puzzle pieces all fall into one place, floating together behind my eyes so quickly it's almost blinding. I recognize those, or more like a vet chest department, and that thighs, and that little mole, a tiny pinhead underneath her left eye. Where? I've seen them before. I've seen them all before years ago when I was still for thir 13? And I didn't know that I liked theirs even though I kept staring at them when I went swimming in the summer. And the way their bikinis clung to their bodies and their hair fell against the exposed napes of their necks. I shared a sentiment. <laughs> She's Morishita Nisae. Hmm. The very first girl I fell in love with. Oh. I've never met her in real life. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't know where she lives. Huh? But I've seen her photos. What? It must have been over the summer that I first found her, but not on purpose. I remember that it was hot, sweltering, so and my friends kept talking about going to the beach. Megumi said she'd bought the cutest two-piece swimsuit online, and she was excited because her parents had never let her buy a two-piece swimsuit before, and she was going to look so hot and so sexy and so mature. I don't know what she thought she was gonna fill that bikini with since she was only 13, didn't have any, you know, tits, but well. Middle school girls are like that. They think they're older than they really are, and they're desperate for attention. I was like that back then too. I still am. Anyway, we're all super jealous of Megumi and her bikini, even though she didn't have the body for it, and we all decided we are gonna find super cute bikinis where too. It became a pretty heated competition. None of us wanted to be upstage. Our pride as cute middle school girls was at stake. I searched for bikinis online obsessively over that summer. I'd sit in my room with the electric fan on my hair tied back in a ponytail, a cold can of diet pets in my left hand and the mouse in my right hand, googling. At the time, I didn't realize what I was really searching for, but hindsight is 2020, 20, and I figure it out now. I wasn't looking for the cutest bikini. I was more interested in the cute girls who wore them. <laughs> I started searching for some things, innocent stuff, like, I don't know, pink bikini, which evolved into pink gingham bikini, then pink gingham bikini with ruffles. But somewhere along the lines, things got kinda messed up like when you play Chinese whispers. Within time it stopped being a bikini and became cute Carol wedding a bikini, but I told myself it was totally normal because I just wanted to see what these bikinis would look like on me and thought I was searching for girl wedding care bikini. I was more interested in the bikini part than the girl. And that's when I found Morishita Misae. Somebody posted a bunch of her pictures some online forum scan from the photo book. I didn't know it at the time, but those pictures, the ones of her in this super, super, super cute white bikini with white flowers threaded through her hair were from her second photo book, Tropical Keys. It's a cliche name. I know, but people don't buy photo books of girls in skimpy bikinis because of their artistic merits. Dude, I don't even buy photo books of girls in... and that's the end of sentence, actually. I don't buy photo books of girls. That's about it. Uh, people might say they do. Oh, it look like the angle of this photograph. But they are liars. Pretentious too. Like does your softcore porn need to be... But like does your softcore need to be artistic? For you to enjoy it? I think not. But just one look at me side's face really did change everything. I look at her face so much back then, I know it almost as clearly as my own. Her face with the snap nose, the beauty mark below the left eye, the pouty lips shining like pearls. Her incisors are a little pointy, kinda like vampires, and when she smiles you can see them protruding beneath her upper lip. A little uneven, but it's totally adorable, the kind of smile that makes your heart pound. I fell in love with her smile first. That's what I tell myself, but it's probably not a coincidence those bikini photos sparked my interest in her. So maybe I actually fell in love with her chest apartment first. 
which FYI were way, way bigger than Megumi's, but don't say I'm in love with her smile first cause that sounds a little less creepy. <laughs> Not that I should care about being creepy, that's like the whole point of those photo books. But I felt guilty when I was 13, I didn't really get what I was doing, but I figured it was wrong, and if the other girls in my class knew about it, they'd probably make fun of me. They definitely would invite me to go to the beach with them, not when Megumi and Saki and Sumire had a bought a brand new beginnings to show their still more or less prepudescent bodies. Why are we talking about this? Like I was even interested. But if they knew I like girls, they'd assume, <laughs> they'd assume I was interested in them even if I wasn't, cause people are dumb and show and self-centered like that and maybe I kinda sorta believed it a bit myself. I don't know. So I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell any of my friends at school. And I certainly didn't tell my parents. They'd have freaked. I kept my obsession of Morishi Tamisai and her prior her pointy incisors and mischievous smiles and adorable dimples all to myself. I looked through all the online scans I could find from Tropical Kids and then I started to search through her previous photo books. Meet Misa and Sweet Season, and she looked so good in all of them, I found myself falling in love over and over again. While Megui and Saki and Sumir were gushing about Toru something or other, maybe Oikawa, for this new TV drama that was about some loser guy falling in love with a hot girl, okay, I guess it was not the one I was talking about, I was thinking about Misa. Well, well, that was weird jump. I tried to join in with their conversation, but it was half-hearted, and maybe they knew I didn't share the love of Thor something or other, but I think they were kinda glad about it. That meant I was one less competitor for their idol's affections, even though it was freaking stupid cause there was no way Thor or something or other was ever going to date a bunch of middle school girls. Ah, not that Minsa would ever date a middle school girl either, but I could dream. And I did dream. I dreamt about Misa a lot, so I guess I'm just as stupid as Megumi and Seki and Sumira were. I didn't know, even know how old she was, or her favorite color, or her favorite food, or anything really. I just knew her pointy scissors and her piercing smile and the way her chest apartment looked as they spl spilled out over the top of a too tight bikini. It got so bad I printed out a few pictures of Misa at the local library when nobody was around and I put them in my pansy clays and I'd look at them in school from time to time when I'm sure nobody was looking over my shoulder, kind of like Psyche did with a picture of the lead singer of Arashi but less socially acceptable. And then I grew up and I grew up into being into girls and it stopped feeling like some huge shameful secret mainly because I started taking Mickey and I could hardly hide a whole living briefing human being set my pansy case like I could with my printouts of Misai. Minky sure as hell tried and think, I think she succeeded too, but they couldn't be like that and when my parents started asking questions I told them the truth. Cause I'm such a good, good girl, at least in some regards I don't like pretending people don't exist to suit myself. But maybe that's why Mickey dumped me. My parents weren't very happy when they found out but I'd expected about as much and it's not like they died or anything, they were confused and probably kinda disappointed. And they told me it was just a face and it would pass. What? But I said it wasn't and they were like, whatever, we don't want to argue about this, it's your life, but please think about this a bit more seriously, Nanami. What? Then again, I mean, I guess all parents would be like that. Probably. But who wants to think about things seriously? They're just sore, cause I won't be able to give them any grandkids. Heh. <laughs> Whatever. Why do I need grandkids? Uh, aren't I adorable enough? That's true. Dude. You don't need... <laughs> this is literally me, by, by the way. Listen. Ah. Uh, it feels kind of weird when people are like, you know, pressuring, pressuring their own kids. Um, uh, you should get kids because uh, I want grandkids. It's so retarded. Honestly. Ah. 
so life kind of went on like this. And he broke up with me, and I went to college, and I had a few flings, nothing serious, and then I met Teresa, and then we broke up, and here I am now, I guess. I didn't think about Morishi Tamisaya for the last four or five years, even though she was so important to me for such a long period of time. Life got too busy to fantasize about what could be when I was living in and now. And then I found her again, all of a sudden, quite unexpectedly, moaning and panting in some cheap, trashy otaku movie that belongs to Ryo's flatmate Naoki. It's funny how that happens, huh? Kind of? Hmm... Ryo ponders one hand on his hip. He kinda looks like he's standing work of art hanging off the wall of some museum and not a cheesecake shot of a sexy girl in a string bikini. He was good at making things look cultured and classy, which is doubly weird since he's a guy in a skirt. Maybe it's his hair. If you didn't know Ryo was a guy, you wouldn't be able to tell. You'd think he was a class, classy beauty, the sort of girl who wouldn't look out of place wearing a kimono serving tea. The long sleeves rolled back to expose her slender white wrists. To be honest, I'm kinda jealous. Not that I let him know that. So, this is what she tell me, so, is it? That's right. That's what she looked like when I first found her. I say, tapping a hot pink fingernail against the screen of Rio's TV for further emphasis. I think this is the first photo I ever saw of her. Hmm, she's pretty cute. I know, right? I say proudly, like a mother at an award ceremony whose kid is standing on the stage. A weird analogy, but I've never really spoken to anybody about my feelings for Miss Morishita before, and let me tell you, I have a lot of feelings about her. At least I used to. She's so cute, her eyes are so warm and brown, and that little molly so adorable. Those sharp little lenses are so it used to make my heart pound. Hey, you want her, we wanted her to bite you. I don't know, I'm not a masochist, but I, I run one hand through my hair, training my fingers against the side of my neck. Maybe. Ah. The sexual fantasies of 13 year old girls are like pre precious gems. They must be cherished. You can laugh, but they were important to me at the time. I really did like her. I can see why. And what's that supposed to mean? I eye Ryo skeptically. You're not claiming my first love for yourself, you, are you? Hmm. I have no interest in your first love. I don't like girls, remember? So I think... I think... I guess... The entire group of people in this game might be into the same sex of their you know interest anyway but you dress like one <laughs> does mean I want to date one real says lovely he always has an answer for everything so it's a funny you get even mother if I said she was ugly Oh, of course I get mad. This is my first love you're talking about. I won't allow anybody to insult me, so I, I, it would break my heart. See what I mean? She sighs, shaking his head. Ah, women are all so temperamental. I think you're just insensitive. I did buy you ice cream. I bet you want to me to gain weight on top of everything else, you asshole. Hey, somebody sounds paranoid. Are you on your period? <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> no, you on yours? I'm not a girl, Nanami. You don't, but you act like one. How touchy. It's not my fault, it's Misai. I say arms folded. She does this to me. Makes you cranky? <laughs> Makes me feel like you know how different. Like I still remember when I found these photos of her for the first time, my heart started to flutter and I got all hot and I felt happy, but I was confused too. I got this kind of happy, scary happy. Does that make sense? I think all teenagers feel like that at some point or another. I honestly don't remember. Do you still feel like that now? Sometimes, sure. People aren't very good at understanding themselves, and they're a bad at accepting things la they like. It's stupid, really. Yeah, we really are stupid. You can say that again. Girls scroll through the image board, and photos of Morishita Misa flash by. Misa in a bikini, Misa in a school swimsuit, Misa in a nurse's dress, Misa in the lace camisole, 
You saw it's enough in nothing much at all. I've seen a lot of those images before, but not all of them. I guess she was still lucky past the gravure idol, even after I lost interest. Well, of course she was. It'd be stupid to think otherwise. It's not like her existence as an idol depended solely upon me. She doesn't even know I exist. She never will either. It feels kind of funny looking at these photos of women I liked so, so much after so, so long. I thought I forgot about her, but I hadn't at all. The memories weren't gone, they were just in storage. Murishi Tomisa. Hmm, I guess she's into... in the adult industry now. I guess so. <sighs> I say... I say something heavily and Trio gives me a side long glance. Are you surprised? He asks. A bit, it feels kind of funny. Isn't this how it ends pretty much? I think we are here clearly talking about Japanese industry right now. But all those... Hmm. Well, gravure idol, they called it, right? I think this basically making photo shoots and so on. Isn't it kinda a scheme they end up in the adult industry in the end anyway? Anyway. A good fun, you're a bad one. Mm, I know, both. Uh, sorry, I don't know, both. I say with a shrug my shoulders. I'm glad I got to see her again, I guess, but I don't know. Are you disappointed in her car choice? Is that it? I would be. Huh? No, 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 not really. It's just like the natural progression, doesn't it? It does, rather. I know how old she is, but she's probably getting on. I'm not saying she's not pretty, but there are younger models out there who pose in swimsuits. You think she got replaced? Seems likely. Don't quote me on that, for I cause I don't know. You're the Morishita Mesa expert, not me. I've been slacking my duties. <clears throat> I pout. This is big news for... Really big. I should have known. Why did I know? You sound like an overprotective parent. Real ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. You sound like your parents. Ah, <gasps> oh, fuck. I hope not. Rio continues to stroll through the image board. Is that in a sexy Yukata? Mm, nice. One of the sleeves pulled down, exposing her shoulders and a large amount of cleavage. A white summer dress, short and sheer, sheer lying on a bed with her hair funding about her face. Misa in the park, in a cream blouse and a short brown shirt, skirt, the soft flesh of her thighs, constricted by white thigh highs, nice, as the sunlight filters down from above. I think the last couple of photos must be from her personal blog. They don't look as pro as the ones from her photo books. They are more candid, more personal, let's say think about her face and eyes. I especially like the last photo, there is a small smile on her face, as for she's sharing a secret view, and her eyes shimmer in the sun. I think Ryo likes this photo too, even though he says he doesn't like girls. Who doesn't like Borishita Mise? Because he poses, his finger hovering over the touchpad. Hey. No way. Mm hmm? What is it? I ask, sidling up to him with a smirk. Did you finally see the light? Has my sweet Mise helped you understand the appeal of the feminine form? No, that's not it. <gasps> Liar! You're staring at her like a perverted old man on a subway station. <laughs> I giggled, prodding him in the ribs with my elbow, or at least I try to. His hood is so large it all but swamps his slender body and my elbow gets lost within the folds of black fabric. Joe shakes my hand away and rolls his eyes. He doesn't look impressed. That's not it, Nami. I'm trying to think here. About re recounting your homosexuality, Ria? No, not about that. It's not really something I can take back. I'm sure you could if you looked at enough photos of Misa. Uh, but this photo in particular, it's strange. What's strange? It's familiar somehow. Hey, what do you mean? These photos can be familiar. He doesn't know Misa. Misa is mine, not Rios. He doesn't even like girls. Not that I blame him if he had... Hot for Misaya, cause she's a total babe, but... Hmm... It's not Misaya. I've never seen her before in my life. It's the place she's posing in, I know it. I'm sure I know it. That's the park near my grandparents' house! I'm sure of it! 
I stared at him, my mouth falling open. Holy shit! Today has been a day full of revelations, says, says Rio Condi. He always sounds calm. I bet he doesn't even know how to sweat. That might explain why he always wears such thick, buggy shirts, even the summer. I can't believe it! Does that mean? Did Morishita Misae, my Morishita Misae, live that close to the family this whole time? Ryo glances through the set of photos posted on the image board. There are a few photos taken in a park and a few by a river and a few in a forest. Misae sits on the booth of an old oak tree like an elf, like a fairy, like a fantasy girl so beautiful it's hard to believe she's really real, with her skirts pulled about her fines. There is no doubt about that, says Ryo, with a definitive nod. That's the river my grandpa goes fishing at sometimes, and that's the forest where my grandma goes to walk Momoyo. Momoyo? Bear dog. Ah, I see. I blink, flash, flash, flattering. Shit. It's quite surprising. I had no idea my grandparents lived so close to a gravur idol turned adult movie actress. Well, ah, he shrugs. Everyone's got to live somewhere. But, but, but there's no guarantee that she really does live there. I point out, feeling kinda like a detective. Only a detective with hot pink finger and is long enough to poke a guy's eyes out from five inches away. What if it's a photo shoot? Why would anybody go do a photo shoot in Kamikoani? It's kinda middle of nowhere. Kamikoani? A small village in the Akita prefecture. I wrinkled my nose. I don't even know where that is. That's cause you're stupid! I'm not stupid! Why do you get 10 random people off the streets and ask them where the Akita prefecture is? They wouldn't know. There's no way they wait no. I hoof my finger. Wait. Isn't Akita prefecture like a big one? I mean, I also don't know obviously where it is. Exactly. But... But I know of it. Better yet, why don't you ask one of the guys in this apartment? I'd rather not, not when I'm dressed like this. Okay, I'd land. Fair point. Takahiro and Kade and the rest seem like decent enough guys, but I don't know them that well. And you can never be too careful. I thought Naoki was a decent guy too, and look what he's really like. Anyway, the Akita Prefecture is for 5 hours away from Tokyo. It's all hilly there. Mountains and forests and rivers and stuff. It's kind of scenic, but some of the villages are pretty well run down. It's not the kind of place you'd go to photograph a glorified lingerie model, is all I'm saying. That's gravur idol to you, Ria. Sorry, my bad. He says, but he doesn't sound very sorry. Hmm, it's not just that photo shoot either. He says, so scrolling through images. She's in the same location in this shoot too, and this one. He's right, smiling me, Morishita Misaes, blink at me from the computer screen. Posing with different hairstyles and different outfits at different times of the year, the only thing that stays the same is the scenery. If Ryo hadn't pointed it out, I would never have noticed, cause these photos are more concerned with Morishita Misae than the trees and bushes and that kind of shite, but if you really really focus you can tell. It's the same park, at the same river, at the same forest. She's in the same place across three different shoots. Holy shit! I say again. I can't believe it. I've been obsessed with Morishita Misae for years and years, ever since I was 13, and okay, sure, I forgot about her a little, well, when real life got in the way, but what the hell? I've liked her for all this time, but I never knew where she lived. I didn't know a single thing about her, not really, but Ryo, all he has to do is look at a few of her photos, suddenly he knows her whole life story. But this isn't fair, Ryo, this isn't fair at all. I was stabbing him in the side with my elbow. Hey, what are you getting all worked up about? The injustice! What injustice? He asks, trying to fight me off, but he's kind of scrawny and he'd probably die before. Same foot in the gym, so his attempts at self-defense are all in vain. What the hell is wrong with you? You're not jealous, are you? It's obvious, I'm pissed even he even needs to ask. Damn right, I'm jealous! I'm so just gonna puke, you fucked hard! <laughs> ah, hey, quit it! Stop it! But I don't quit and I don't stop. I stood my fingers beneath his oversized hoodie, lifting up his layers of protective armor. I'm supposed to be tickling him, but since my nails are so long and pointy, it must feel like 
Ah, ah, like being ticked are more like torture, being tortured. Ow. Oh, well, I don't care. He deserves it. Asshole. Nah, let me that hurt. Ah, get off me. No. Let me. There is only probably one thing you could possibly do to make me this up to me, Ria, you jerk. And what is that? He asked, wincing tears, bedding the corners of his eyes. Do you have in the rusk? Why, it's obvious, isn't it? I asked my fingers still pressed against his side. Ryo gives me a look that clearly reads, Oh, shit. His eyes narrowed, lips burst. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I guess we are going to Akita or something like that. <laughs> anyway, as you've seen, there was the next day screen. So we'll end it here and we'll continue this story tomorrow. I guess we are on the chase after the Gravur Idol. We had actually our girl over here had a crush on uh, when she was like 13. Interesting. I. Uh, it's a crazy situation, but you know what this might make? Actually, this was already makes for an interesting story. So, uh, I wonder how it will end. Can we... Uh, on the other hand, you know... No, I would not be able to, like... I would definitely not be able especially you know since she turned into adult industry yeah mm. I, I would not be able to put myself in her shoes and to do what she wants to do basically anywho let's end it we'll continue tomorrow hope you enjoyed uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Consider liking the video, of course, if you did find it sort of enjoyable. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That way you will get, you know, that notification or, you know, just the video will drop into your subscription box when it's out, the next one. And it's free, most importantly. <laughs> uh, there's also Twitch, Twitter, Instagram in the description. If you're into that stuff, you can follow me there. And of course I linked the game in the description as well. We'll see where this is going tomorrow. Yeah, hope to see you there. Bye bye.